Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of input output tables. This is standard 4.5b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 24 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a number pattern, and it begins with these four simple numbers, 8, 16, 24, 32. Looks like we're skip counting by eights is what it looks like. And so we've got four different tables we need to look at, but see what it's asking us. We have to represent the relationship between, and that's going to be our input output here, the position of a number in the pattern and the value of that number. And so they really give us the two things that we're looking for here is the input of the number in the pattern and then the that's the position and then we've got our output which is the value so since they gave uh, this in order i mean we could just label these as one two three and four if we wanted to we could kind of make our own little table and we can compare so we've got input and this is going to be position in pattern and then we've got the output which is going to be value all right so those are going to be our inputs and our outputs it's pretty straightforward we just have to find the one that matches what we're looking for here so we've got this eight, you see that eight right there, that's that, that's that first one. That's actually going to go in the value because that's what that's eight. That, that eight is the value, that's what it's worth. So these numbers, eight, 16, 24, and 32, those are the values because that's just what they're worth. What they don't give us, what we have to supply, is their position in the number pattern. And that's pretty obvious once we know what we're looking for. So eight is first. 16 is second, 24 is third, and then we've got our 32 that is fourth. And we're looking for the relationship. So that's really what we're looking for is this rule. How do we get from 1 to 8? How do we get from 2 to 16? We're going side to side since our two columns are side to side. And so whenever we're getting larger, there's two different ways we can do it. We can either add or we can multiply. So if we wanted to add, we'd have to think 1 plus what makes 8? Now that would be 1 plus 7 makes 8, but does 2 plus 7 make 16? No, it doesn't. 2 plus 7 makes 9. So it's not going to be that. It is going to be kind of what we were saying earlier, skip counting by 8, which means that's going to be multiplying. So what if we multiplied by 8? 1 times 8 equals 8. 2 times 8 equals 16. 3 times 8 equals 24, 4 times 8 equals 32. Yes, that works. So that is our pattern that we notice that we are multiplying our position by 8 to get our value. Now let's look at our F, G, H, and J. So we actually have F. Look at this. 1 plus 8 equals 9. That's correct. 2 plus 8 equals 10. That's correct. 3 plus 8 so they're taking this position, 1, 2, 3, 4, they're adding it plus 8, and they're getting the value. And everything over here is correct based on the expression, but take a look at their values, 8, 9, 10, 11. What we were looking for was the 8, 16, 24, 32. So that's what a plus 8 looks like, but it doesn't give us the correct values, so it's going to be incorrect. G, we've got 8 plus 0, well, that's correct. That's 8 and 16 plus 0 and 24. So now we've got the correct values. Look at that. Our values are good. 8, 16, 24, 32. What doesn't work are our positions. Those needed to be 1, 2, 3, and 4. So that doesn't work. So that looks familiar. Look at that. We've got a times 8. So we know that's what we did. Let's just check our J. And once again, the positions are all wrong on J. So our answer here is going to be H.